In fact, I may do a call. Maybe I'll do it next week. I'll show you how to remove a judge's immunity. I'll show you how to do it in about 90 minutes. It takes a little bit of research. You just got to go read up your read up on your uh, state tort claims act. And guess what? The state guys, this is so easy. Ray, you're going to laugh. I mean, you, you, you already know this. Yeah. I, I think you do need to show them that. I think that's very, I need, I need to go over this on the next call, but, current, yeah. um, but, but I was just doing one today for Florida. As you can tell, I, you know, when I'm talking about stuff, you know, I'm doing it. What's the first line in the, in the tort claims act. You're complaining that you can't sue the judges because they're immune. You're complaining. You can't sue the County because it's immune. It has sovereign immunity. You don't know what you're doing. You got to go read. You learned this in school. Maybe you didn't learn how to think, but maybe you learned how to read. Okay. I'm one of those students. <laughs> so I had to struggle. But in the first opening line, it says the state hereby waives immunity. And then it tells you how it's waiving immunity. And all you have to do is follow the instructions. Step one, step two, step three. You know what the instructions are? I'm going to summarize them for every state. It's telling you how to send a letter to a particular office in your government. Is that so complicated? Do you need a lawyer for that? And then just make an insurance claim with your county or your state. Make an insurance claim for losses and then sue them. Pull the immunity and sue. If you pull the immunity for a judge, you just sue the employer, the county, for the judge's conduct. Make sure that your allegations can match the criteria for the tort claim. It's a statutory process. You have to meet the statutory criteria. It's okay. There's another example. But John, it's a statute. Yes. Thankfully, we have them. Did you know that, I don't know if you guys follow history or anything, but you ever read uh, Plato's Apology? Do you ever read what his writings about Socrates? Socrates' Apology. The Trial of Socrates. Well, Socrates was, you know, a philosopher, as you probably heard, and, and he used to travel around, a Greek in Athens, okay? He would travel around, and, and he would uh, always, he would genuinely act as if he didn't know. He wasn't smart. He wasn't wise. This is what he would do. And he would, he would engage in this um, conversation with people, and uh, he would try to figure out who's, who's wise. He was seeking wisdom, right? And he was wise. But he was wise because he genuinely believed he should not act like he's wise. So anyways, this is a real guy. I mean, this guy was, he did, he was alive and, and he did these things. So anyways, he got this following of young people because he was teaching them how to think and they loved it. It was, it was invigorating to them. They weren't getting this from Athens, you know, it was like today, you know? So anyways, he was charged with the crime of corrupting the youth. And I know this is a long story, but <laughs> corrupting the youth. It's kind of like what censorship, right? He was sentenced to death. Not to get into the story, you guys might want to check it out, but corrupting the youth. So be thankful that we have statutes because without statutes, you could be accused of any crime. You could be accused of a thing that the government says is today a crime when yesterday it was not. So if you don't like statutes, think that again, think it through. Um, yeah. They're actually beautiful. Every state has a Tort Claims Act. Every state tells you in the statutes exactly what to do to sue the state, the county, its agents, or municipalities, which are cities. Absolutely. Or its, agents. it's all there. Absolutely. You should do it. Um, just You have to be able to express the thing that is telling you in the Tort Claims Act. It tells you that this sort of thing has to happen. So you take that phrase and you ask yourself, what did this person do that caused this, right? Or that did this? And it, you just you just reverse engineer the language and you put it into a complaint and you send a letter and you give them so much time to fix it. And when they don't, you bring the case in court and you do what it says, like Ray's saying, you follow the directions. Mm -hmm. So anyways, be thankful we have these statutes. It's very, it keeps our, our society what it is. I mean, yeah, okay, there's some abuse and stuff, but uh, we have guides to follow. It's very useful.